Wolfgang One of North Carolina State's corpse flower is officially blooming. And the flower gets its name from its unusual smell. I'll just say it's stinky. But as yeah. CBS 70's Chloe Rafferty shows us, people aren't letting that keep them away. Something stinky at NC State's J.C. Ralston Arboretum. You can smell it everywhere. Yeah. This corpse flower named Wolfgang is now in full bloom, standing six feet tall. The flower is impressive. That very big. 12-year-old Austin Skedsvold is no stranger to gardening. I'm going to be a rancher, so I'm going to have to have a garden anyways. And this is something even he hasn't seen before. It is endangered. Uh, it's from Sumatra, Indonesia, and um, I have recently heard that there's only about a thousand that are left in nature. Diane Mays with NC State started growing this corpse flower six years ago. It takes seven to ten years for it to bloom the first time, and then after that, as long as the corm is getting enough energy, then it will um, bloom anywhere from two to five years after that. The big question is, why the bad step? It's like rotting meat to attract the flies and the beetles that are there in the rainforest. And so that's why the, the that space around it is maroon colored because it looks like bloody meat that flies and, and beetles and other things would be attracted to. Austin says don't let the smell deter you from seeing this rare plant. It just kind of smells like pig manure. It's not that bad. NC State has four corpse flowers in different stages of their cycle, and they're only available to the public when they bloom. There's a good chance that you won't have another chance to, to see one of these things uh, unless you're in the right place at the right time. If you want to see the corpse flower and snap a picture, you're going to want to hurry up. Experts say it'll only be in full bloom until Thursday afternoon. To see what it looks like right now, head to our website, cbs17.com. Chloe Rafferty, CBS 17 News.